hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to tell you how you can make xrd graph in origin 8.5 so for that i have opened origin 8.5 so now go to file and then you need to go to import to import your file and then single ASCII. so from here you could you can import your xrd data file which is in the extension dot dead so I'm just gonna select it and import it here so this is how it looks this is the entire data of my XRD graph so now I'm gonna delete these and you can see this is the entire XRD data so now we are, what we are going to do is we are going to select these two columns like this and press this so your XRD graph is ready so how it looks like now you can change x and y axis as well so here i'm gonna name y axis as intensity which is in arbitrary units And on x axis i'm gonna write 2 theta which is in degree so for theta you need to select this alpha beta and press q from your keyboard so it's very simple guys you can do it easily and now degree So now we can change the scale of x and y axis as well. So for x axis, uh, let me write it's gonna start from 20. So I'm gonna write 20 and here I'm gonna write 80. So apply and OK. Now for vertical, I'm going to write 700, which is the starting point of my graph. So again apply and OK. Now go to title and format for making this graph looks better. So I'm just gonna do all major ticks in. So here it's done for bottom. Now for top, just put all outs in none for top and right side. And I'm going to put the thickness three. So it's going to look more presentable. So you can do it according to your choice, whatever you like. So yeah, this is how it is looking. Now the another important thing that you can do is you can put Mula indices also. So just press right click, add text and write your Mula indices corresponding to your each peak. So I'm gonna write 3, 1, 1. Now the next thing you can do is you can put it in vertical also. So just press right click, go to properties and then rotate it by 90 degree and then press ok so yeah it's done so this is how you can put all your miller indices corresponding to each peak of data and it's going to work well so i'm going to do it for each peak
so guys here xrd graph is done so this is how easy you can make xrd graph in origin it's so so simple so i'm just gonna go save it file save project and give whatever name you want to give and just save it I hope this video helps you if you find it good enough then please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment down below what you want to see next